is good YouTube, my name is George. Welcome to another episode of Senior Year. And somehow, some way, this is my last session of winter break. I'm here at the local again. You guys know I love this yellow wall. Come on, it's beautiful. We got a good spot here today and we're gonna talk about the truth about being good at skateboarding. And the point of this video is to make you feel like you can be a good skateboarder and this is something I've been thinking about a lot. I don't really think of myself as a good skateboarder. I mean, I don't really think anyone does. We all have that next step that we wanna get to in skateboarding. But I am like surprised at my progress. Like looking back as a kid, I would have never thought I would get this good at skateboarding. So like it's crazy. And I definitely think I have some insight as to how I got to this point. Like being able to nolly crook down a hubba that blows my mind. So let's talk about it. But first, let's introduce you to the squad today. What's good, John? My name is George. Dude, no, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John. Hey. hey man, how are you, dude? This is the I like secret. That ID, though. Oh, thanks, man. This is the secret to getting good at skateboarding. That's what the video's about? Yeah. Oh. I made a video exactly like that. Really? Maybe it was the secret to consistency. Maybe that was it. Let me just go play try that real quick. Cool. What is good, Steven? My name is YouTube. What? Your name is YouTube? I mean George. Sorry. Oh, okay, George. Hey, How's it going? Get Pleasure. 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 See, if we met on camera, it means it's official. There we go. So when John says he does collaborations, he just meets him on camera, and that's a collaboration. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting the video. Please don't click away. It's going to continue. But I just got this box in the mail literally just now. And see, since starting YouTube, I would do this thing where I would receive a box and then I would not open it right away. I would like wait until a good time where I was filming a video where it would naturally fit in to do an unboxing. But then I would just not be excited about the box anymore. And here I am. I am so excited about this box. I was not even expecting this. And I have an announcement that I never formally told you guys. And you may have noticed the quality of the music on this channel took a huge step up all of a sudden and that is because I became an ambassador for music bed I am genuinely so stoked on this service and this video is not sponsored basically they've given me access to their music library and it is an incredible music library I highly recommend this for any creator out there freaking dope library it's actually new good really good music and you can still monetize your video so that's what it is this box says music bet along the side it says it starts here and it has my name on it i feel very special and this is completely irrelevant to this video but we're gonna open this like i said i have no idea what's inside i'm pretty sure they asked for my t-shirt size A little secret i learned from the post office this was shipped with media mail which means there's some sort of book in here i think no way that's a jacket. Welcome to the family at Music Bed. Music Bed, you guys know how to make me feel some type of way. Some type of way. And what the f friggity freak. This appears to be a jacket. Ah, that's so dope. This is great. This is, uh, dude, they freaking sent me a freaking jacket. This is an embroidered t-shirt. Yeah, see, there we go, medium mail. If you got a book in your package, you can send it for the cheap now you know all right all right this is really freaking cool i really appreciate this this is just too freaking sick look at that music bed ambassador baby music bed thank you guys and i mean you guys can hear it the music has been getting a lot better i also apologize for not actually stating the specific songs that have been in my videos i'm gonna start doing that from now on back to the video <laughs> Hey John, that was back to back. Oh my gosh. Give me some. We're friendship. Skateboards. Aw, oh, damn it. No! We almost had it. <laughs> I should probably clarify something. This video is not about becoming as good as you need to be to go pro, like some people. <laughs> Skateboarding's about having fun, all right? It's not about 
how good you are. All right, John, so I consider you pretty good at skateboarding. Thank you. And before I share like my main theory on basically how to get good, I'm curious oh, okay. like what you think, long term, how do you get good at skateboarding? I think I, I think I heard somebody say something about just trying to have as much fun as you possibly can. I agree with that to an extent. I think you should find the things that you have fun doing and expand on them, even if it's not as fun. So for me, one thing that really hacked like a lot of skill, I guess, was to actually do things that I was terrified of. Mm. And usually going down that path isn't that fun, but I would force myself to learn a new trick every day or film a clip every single day. So it was always very productive. But a big part of it was just finding something that I was scared of and just trying to get enough confidence doing the basic version of that, learning how to do the harder version, and then doing that a million times, and just so on and so forth until you learn a lot of tricks. But also, finding things that you're good at and expanding on that helps keep your confidence up, which does lead directly to becoming better faster. That's pretty much it. Whoa! That was kind of fun. The best gap in New York. Oh it's huge! And George is about to land the next one coming up. All right, and here comes George coming up with the Switch 360. Oh, oh you just barely, barely missed it. it. Maybe on the next one. Can I ask you a question, Steven? No. Yeah, you can. What's your theory on like how to get good at skateboarding long term? All right, I'm, I'm actually the king of that because all my friends are way better than me. So <laughs> the secret is to skate with people that are better than you. Skating with people better than you makes that the normal, you know? So like if you were to skate with Danny Way and like Bob Burnquist every day, the mega ramp wouldn't be all like terrifying every time because you're like, well, these dudes do it every day. And also not trying to skate like somebody certain, just do what you think is comfortable, because if I try to skate like everybody else, manuals, ledges, all that, I'm really bad at it. Stay not all the way in your comfort zone, but like don't be like, oh dude, I gotta learn kickflip nose manual, because that's what everybody can do. Steven, that is some very insightful help right there. Two things that I wasn't even gonna mention in this video. How do you feel? I'm, I'm killing the video right now. <laughs> Put my name in the title. For tray flips, nobody ever told me to try to go back foot and then jump. It's a lot more intimidating, but mainly you it gets to be normal to the point where you're like, you also are a lot better than you think. It took me forever to learn to circle 50 rail, or 50 circle. Circle 50 rail. <laughs> 50 circle rails. Well, I just feel like with Instagram and all that stuff, it's just go learn like something simple, not even crazy, just like. And the third thing <laughs> that I will add is skate as many different skate parks as you can because if you get used to your local park only, every time you go somewhere else and the ledge isn't exactly like your local park, That's it's so gonna true. be like, oh dude, the, it's so big, I can't even grind this. He's it's using all this audio. I am. <laughs> no, my video needs to be 10 minutes. All right, John, sure, whatever, dude. You could just talk your head off and it's fine and you get paid for it, but I do it. Um, <laughs> Oh! Some YouTube drama alert real quick. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah, Brett. What's up? What's up? I don't know if you guys even all know Brett, but this is up, Brett. Guys? And he actually co-owns with Manny Santiago, Fortune Skateboards. The new boards right here that we just sent George. Yeah, those, the setup video coming. Well, this is the one I blurred in my last unboxing because they weren't out yet. That's all that. <laughs> setup video coming next, Brett. Excellent people. Thank you. Hey, bro, you dropped your teeth. Thank you, dude. Yeah, no problem. It's wax. Oh, okay, no wonder. <laughs> Tell everyone what your name is. Uh, my name is Anthony. Well, they call me Tony. Hi, Anthony. What's your channel called? Uh, Evolvent Skater. Make sure to follow me. Got 23 subscribers. Oh, yeah. not bad, not bad. And you said you were you watched the uh, Five Nolly Tricks yeah, video. Yeah, that's what helped me, bro. I, the slap is about I learned it right there. Hell yeah, man. That Four makes side. me so happy. And yeah, you're bro. killing it. 
You want to say what's up? Hey. <laughs> man, you sponsored me when I was a small fish. I appreciate that. Of course, man. You're a big fish now. A little bit of a bigger fish. That's gonna Wally 50 this try. This life perfect. I took my time and I got him. See it, be it, George. I am that ledge. You are. Be the one with the ledge. Look down on me, but that's all surface. I'm so sometimes body What am I doing? Baby mama on We're all out here contacting make wait. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We're all out here doing things. We're all out here making content, here. landing skateboarding tricks. Look yeah. at these guys. Trying to get some new content from my MySpace channel. MySpacers right here. Check it out, myspace.com slash johntel69420. Influential MySpacers. Hey, I'm on a stop eight. What's up? Oh. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you don't even know what top eight is, dude? Hey, guys. Hey. Well, I, Excellent. Bye, guys. Oh, okay. You're saying oh, sure, yeah. Guys. Sure, sure, sure. Are you explaining that we're bye guys? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, it's me. Take care, dude. Guys, it's been great. I'm going to leave Get out of your here. info Get. and your info. Please do. In the desk. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Ah. I busted my ass off camera and ooh, it's cold out there and I just had to finish this video inside. Egg and cheese from the deli. The taste test. Worms the soul. I completely agree with the input from everyone in this video. Nobody said that to be good at skateboarding, you have to have natural talent. And it's because you don't. Nobody is just good at skateboarding. Everyone you see at the skate park who is amazing has worked hard to get there. Just like with anything in life, to get good at skateboarding, it's about practice. And I know that there's a ton of people who just think that they're not cut out for skateboarding, that they're not good enough, that they're never gonna get as good as those really good skaters at the skate park, but it's actually that mindset that holds people back the most because it holds you back from actually getting out there on the board trying embarrassing yourself falling because those are the steps you need to get through to get good at skateboarding if there's anything you're gonna do to get good at skateboarding believe in yourself believe that you can get good at it I am NOT a naturally talented human if I have gotten anywhere in skateboarding then you can too now let me give you my actual theory I believe that all you need to do to get good at skateboarding is spend a lot of time on it be consistent with it and put in a certain level of mental energy so this means putting your mind in the right place like deciding to try a new trick every session things like that just like mentally be in a place where you're gonna be trying to get better committing to new tricks etc and I definitely agree that being in a mindset of having fun helps with this one skateboarding is so fun that's why we do it. The only reason that you will not get good at skateboarding is if you stop trying. There is no reason to stop trying. It like literally if you just keep going and skate a lot, in a couple years you'll be so much better than you are now as you're watching this video. Like that is a key that a lot of people don't understand and beginners don't understand. A lot of people ask like why why am I not good yet? Why can't I do this? And it's just because it takes a long time and you have to be okay with that. You have to stay committed to it if you want to get good at skateboarding. So with that, if you love skateboarding I implore you to never give up because if you never give up you will just keep getting better and better the longer you skate <sighs> Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. This has been a great video Thanks to all the friends helping out and thanks you guys for watching make sure you like comment do all that YouTube stuff Hit that subscribe button, you know, we're trying to get a hundred K before I graduate from college and the next video will be at college because winter break flew by I'm gonna finish this bacon egg and cheese and put some ice on my hip that thing hurts Embroidery, guys, it's got depth. Cool, man, thank you. Yeah, of course, big dong. <laughs> That's going in, I was still recording.